so today we are going to discuss about a very interesting topic which is property strategies uh, i know quite a few of you may be into properties and um, so you would like to know about what are the different strategies uh, because when i got into the property market or property business um, i had to learn about a lot of different strategies i don't know what you know i was going towards but this is a nutshell what you see on the screen are different property strategies based on what objective um, what is your objective of uh, getting into property based on that you can you can choose uh, the best property strategy for yourself okay a lot of money to be made in property so let's talk about um, the outcomes so as you can see there are different strategies and uh, you know that the outcomes are sometimes uh, you know you have to invest um, some of the strategies uh, requires a bit of an investment or some requires a more investment so those two double ticks are uh, bigger investments and investment doesn't have to be your own money again uh, in property that's very important that uh, you can use other people's money that means people who have the money but they are time poor and uh, you know you can utilize their uh, sort of a money um, you know for your investment strategies or give them a good return on their investments and then another uh, objective is cash flow that means um, you know how much of return you are going to get um, you know out of your investments uh, you know of your time and uh, and money or either of these or both and the capital appreciation okay so do you want uh, to leverage uh, in as you know property market is uh, seven to ten years it doubles uh, the property prices double so uh, do you want to leverage out of uh, you know the doubling of the you know property prices okay so let's go down to the uh, first strategy which is buy to let which is quite old and very popular and uh, you know quite common in the investment world property investment world so buy to let so that means you buy the property um in in uh, you know uh, in mortgage or uh, you know if you have the cash you can you can buy the cab buy in cash as well which usually do not suggest to go for um you know buying the entire property investing uh, you know putting your own entire money into cash because you can leverage banks money um but yes uh, buy to let uh, so this investment is uh, bigger here you know in comparison to other strategies as you can see here and the cash flow you'll get uh, you know the cash flow as well rental income less um, you know other your expenditures like mortgage payment and your other running expenditure of your um, of your property and also you benefit out of the capital appreciation because it's your own property you get uh, you know the capital appreciation benefits okay second is that you buy the property but uh, you let it out okay um, sorry you sell it um, you know not buy to let but uh, flipping okay so buy the property um, do some renovation work if you want to uh, you know do some work appreciate the value of the property as well and you can sell it off okay and uh, that is where uh, you know the, your objective is buying and then uh, you know you add some value um if you want to or if you get a property at a, a lesser rate uh, lesser than the market value and you can sell it at the market value and the objective here is to make a good profit okay the cash flow is usually very very you know good uh, because you can make instant profit uh, in in thousands but again you have to you have to pay uh, you know the taxes as well on that but this is uh, you know one of the strategies as well you can implement okay however there is no capital appreciation because you bought the property not to hold it but to sell it off so that means uh, you are flipping the property so you are not expecting any uh, appreciation of uh, your your investment of your capital in long run okay um, you can add some value and that's how you know your property value uh, appreciates but in the long run you don't want to hold on to the property which is uh, you know the objective of this strategy is just to flip it and make instant money now buy to let uh, sorry again build to let okay so what is build to let that means you buy a plot of land um, or uh, you know you have a you know uh, you buy a, a house um, um, and then you renovate it and uh, you know you you let it out okay um, so you can develop a piece of land as well and um, you know you have uh, you know once kind of a um, house which is not doing good you can just completely knock it down and you know uh, and then build a new sort of block of apartments and then you can let it out okay so that's called the build to let strategy um, and where the, there is an investment needed because you are building building the uh, you know uh, property um, or the house or the block of uh, you know building the apartments and uh, there is cash flow definitely there is 
is uh, you know good cash flow you can you can expect and also because you are holding on to the property you can expect the capital appreciation as well okay now let's move on to the other next strategy which is uh, buy refurbish and refinance okay which is kind of one of my most favorite strategies is uh, buy refurbish refinance why is because it helps you to uh, go for multiple properties okay um, you can build a portfolio through this uh, strategy what do you do well uh, you know you buy the property ideally below the market value and uh, add a substantial value to the property um, and then um, you know you refinance get the property refinance that means you can buy the property on bridging loan or you know you can just put your own cash as well or uh, you, know, you can um joint venture with uh, you know other investors and uh, you know buy a property and uh, then you know you uh, add value to it and uh, when the property value appreciates um, then you know you can get it refinanced and take all the money out or substantial part of your investment out and uh, in that way you know uh, you benefit from the cash flow as well because you are you are holding on to the properties is your property but there is not a lot of investment uh, of your or your investors money is stuck into that property and you benefit out of the capital appreciation as well so that means you get the cash flow the rental income is coming in and also the capital appreciation and whatever the money you took out uh, from the uh, property and you can reinvest you know in um, you know to into another property doing the exactly same strategy okay so you can eventually build a portfolio of multiple properties okay now the next is rent to rent okay this is again uh, one of the uh, most favorite favorite strategy to um, generate good substantial cash flow again rent to rent uh, uh, two kinds of it okay so you lease or rent a property um, you know uh, objective is to run it as an hmo so that means you you know buy the i'm um, sorry you rent the property one whole unit and then you segregate it uh, you know room by room and then uh, you know you let it out room by room which is a house of multiple occupation or you can uh, let it out as a serviced accommodation you can run as a as a hotel as a hotel business okay service accommodation and which is sort of good cash flowing as well uh, in comparison to hmo you make uh, sort of a more more money but uh, again the running expenditure as well is higher than hmo but this is an instant cash flowing strategy uh, we get good cash flow but without much of an investment why because you are not buying the property you are not putting a, a down payment uh, you know so this is somebody else property you are uh, you know getting it or leasing it or renting it and then you know you are uh, subletting kind of uh, you know uh, this uh, running your own business as hmo or a service accommodation okay however in this strategy because you do not own the property you do not benefit out of the capital appreciation okay so that's the advantage of it and so if you are looking for some instant cash flow we don't you don't have a lot of money to invest then this is one of the best strategies uh, you can go for and the next is rent to buy or purchase a lease option or a lease option they say okay what is rent to buy so this is another uh, most favorite strategy of mine rent to buy so that means uh, you get hold of uh, you know a tired landlord or somebody who is uh, not uh, uh, you know looking to hold on to his property okay usually rent to buy works for those um, you know properties or those landlords who have the properties who have uh, for which they have lost the equity that means uh, you know they are not able to sell the property because the mortgage payment is quite um, high and the property value have uh, depreciated since they bought it and uh, you know they are not able to you know uh, get uh, a good return on their their investment okay so rent to buy is what you do is you uh, you know help that investor um, uh, to offload his uh, property um, you take it on um, um, on a three year five year seven years you know on a sort of a long term lease so this is kind of a purchase lease option so you lease the property um, get it on the lease usually it used to be um, uh, for commercial property it used to be um, you know the, one of the sort of most favorite or it was quite prevalent in uh, you know commercial properties now it is also quite popular in uh, residential properties as well okay so you lease the property for certain duration of time you don't have to pay the landlord you are not buying the proper property that time but you are um, getting into an agreement whereby you are saying that after 
five years i will or after seven years whatever the agreement says um you know i if i want i can exercise my right but i am not obliged to buy the property i ex can exercise my right to buy the property at agreed at, at a specific uh, price whatever you agree from the from the beginning itself okay so in this way you can get into the property so that means try before you buy kind of a thing where you you know um, uh, you are renting the property and then you can run it as as an hmo or a service accommodation and um, for five years seven years and then uh, you know if you want to buy you see that it is good value for money and you just buy it okay uh, at that point of time and how do you buy that property that time and so those strategies as well in there are different different options different ways i you know you can you can buy it as well but if that's not the topic of discussion um, in this uh, video um, and uh, then uh, in this strategy you benefit from everything you you know do not have to invest a lot of money uh, and you generate the good cash flow as well and you benefit from the capital appreciation because eventually if you're buying it then you are gaining out of the capital appreciation of um, that property last person of the list is the deal packaging okay so that's a very good um, sort of a property strategy as well so um, you know if you are into investment you are into property you are looking at different uh, properties let's say you do not find um, or you don't uh, feel like this is not an in a property you want to exercise your you know the above options any of these options you know let's say rent to rent you are doing rent to rent or you don't find uh, you know you didn't like the property for yourself but you feel like okay this is a very good property for uh, somebody else so you can pass it on it's called packaging the deal that means you just package it in such a way just letting other people know that uh, this is what the property is this is what the investments uh, return on investment you can get and that person uh, you know you can sell this deal to potential investors or other people who are into the in the in different strategies what you have seen uh, above and uh, they will be interested to buy it for you know 2000 3000 5000 10000 okay so you just decide how you know based on how much uh, of value um you know you are giving based uh, you know um, on this deal and the other person you can make instant money in this um, sort of a deal packaging again you know there are a few things you have to take care of it as well that means you have to be um, licensed that means you need to you know um, property ombudsman you have to be registered and uh, ico uh, you have to register so i would suggest that if you are looking into deal packaging you know, do a bit of research and uh, you know find out what are the different um, you know, legal things you have to comply before you get into uh, packaging the deal okay and then selling it across but this is a good investment strategy where you can uh, without uh, much of an investment uh, you know you can get into good cash flow uh, you know uh, and uh, but uh, as this is not your own property you don't gain and um, out of the capital appreciation okay so uh, i hope it made some sense to you if you are looking into property as a, a sort of a business uh, then this is a really you know good um, sort of a investment uh, you can um, look into and you can make a lot of money out of it okay hopefully it made some sense to you so with that i am done and over and out